When your fur kiddo is feeling under the weather, you might want to make some changes to their diet to provide them with the nutrients they need to build a stronger, virus-fighting body. And a warm bowl of homemade chicken broth might help do the trick. Hi there, I'm Sati, and this little one is Chaya. We're going to share with you a recipe that can help support sick pets by helping ease inflammation, clearing airways, and replenishing their bodies as they fight a viral infection. Store-bought chicken broth made for humans often contains garlic, onion, and too much salt, which can be hurtful to your little one. To avoid any issues, opt for a pet-specific broth, or when possible, make your own recipe at home. First, let's separate and measure our ingredients. We're going to use two pounds of chicken bones. If your little one is allergic to chicken, you can opt to use beef bones. We'll also use three chopped carrots, and two stalks of celery, also chopped up. You can opt to use a peeler for your carrots, but I'm not going to, I'm just gonna chop them up. And you can use all portions if you'd like, because they're all packed with nutrients. And one to one half tablespoons of lemon juice. Lemon juice is packed with vitamin C and phytonutrients, which are plant compounds that promote good health. So you can add all these to your pot. We'll also add two teaspoons of grated ginger for its powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. One tablespoon of pumpkin seeds, which are rich in zinc and have antiviral properties. We can then add one four inch long fresh sprig of rosemary or one teaspoon of dried rosemary. Five leaves of fresh sage or one teaspoon of dried sage. One teaspoon of fennel. Together they provide antiviral benefits and antioxidant properties and can help encourage a healthy appetite. Lastly, you can add one teaspoon of light salt. Then you can add and fill the pot with about 20 cups of filtered water. You can then turn on the stove top and bring everything to a boil. Once it has reached a boiling point, you can cover the pot with a lid and reduce the heat to low. Allow the broth to simmer for about 12 to 14 hours. This slow cooking is important to allow the nutrients to be released from the ingredients. You can also use a slow cooker or a pressure cooker, like an Instapot. While you're waiting for it to boil, you can have some cuddle time with your fur baby. After it's done, allow it to cool down, then remove the bones. Please do not give the cooked bones to your pet. The bones become quite soft and brittle after being cooked for so long and can be a choking hazard. Strain the broth and make sure that you remove all of the water that might have been absorbed by the veggies because it contains all the natural goodies you need. You can use a spoon or a potato masher to help with that. If the carrots and celeries are still intact, feel free to give them as a treat or add it on top of the broth when serving. After the bone broth is strained and cooled, remove the fat from the top by scooping it off. The fat will automatically separate from the rest of the broth and create a thin layer on top. You can mix in our supplements with this chicken broth right before serving for added support. These are our main recommendations for formulas for pets fighting viral infections. Felim is a vet formulated supplement to support your little one's battle against infections. It contains turmeric, aloe vera, St. John's wort, and myrrh, which have all been used traditionally to help support the body with bacterial and viral infections. Nature's Immuno includes medicinal mushrooms that are known for their healing benefits and immune enhancing abilities. One of the ingredients, the cordyceps mushrooms, is a very rich in phytonutrients and has strong antiviral properties. Lastly, Multi Essentials works as a herbal multivitamin to give a boost of nutrients to your pet's body. This supplement contains herbs rich in vitamins like vitamins A, C, D, E, and K, as well as minerals like iron, magnesium, zinc, and more. This chicken broth can be mixed with your little one's regular food or given alone. It is important to note that before you modify your little one's diet, you might want to seek advice from your veterinarian especially when there are other health conditions or underlying health concerns. The amount varies depending on the size of the dog or cat. 
In general situations, you can offer about 25 to 50 milliliters of the broth two to four times a day for miniature to small pets. For medium sized to large dogs, we recommend adding about 100 to 125 milliliters of the broth to their meals twice to four times a day. For any other questions about chicken broth for dogs and cats, home cooking for your pet, or any of our supplements, get in touch with us using any of the channels listed below. We are always happy to help our friends.